Hi guys, Kadyo na naman at nanonood kayo ng Motorcycle News Ride Review. Ang ating pong ride ngayon at ang review natin ay ang Royal Enfield Himalayan 400. Yes, dinala po namin ito sa kick-off ng Philippine Motorcycle Tourism. Okay guys, malita natin. Ano nga ba? Kaya nga ba? Okay nga ba? Ang Royal Enfield Himalayan 400. But before anything else, please click that subscribe button and that bell icon and of course that like button. O nga pala, Ang aming pong uh, sponsor for this ride review ay ang Butcher's Joint sa May Quezon City. Okay, yung mga details yan, makikita nyo. Okay na okay po dyan sa Butcher's Joint. Visitahin nyo lang, rider friendly po yan. Okay, again, let's see. Ano nga ba ang Royal Enfield Himalayan? Himalayan is perhaps the most reviewed motorcycle malamang dahil sa kanyang dependable and affordability sa adventure part of motorcycling. Ang engine ay 411cc single cylinder 4 stroke 25 horsepower na may bore na 78mm at stroke 96mm fuel injection na may torque na 32nm sa 4000 to 4500 rpm wet multi-plate clutch at 5-speed constant mesh transmission Overall length is 86 inches, ang width is 33 inches without the side mirrors, ang height is 53 inches, wheelbase is 58 inches, at ang ground clearance is 8.6 inches, may seat height na 31.5 inches, at ang kanyang bigat is 439 pounds. It's a bit heavy on a standstill but manageable kapag umaandar ka na. Fuel tank capacity is 15 liters and fuel consumption can go up to 27 kilometers per liter. Matipid na po ito for a big bike motorcycle. Matipid po talaga siya as testament nung ginamit namin ito sa motorcycle tourism event at ang Pasko pa po si Mrs. Noon. Sa handling naman ay very stable siya sa straights at sa mga lean at liko. Hindi nga lang siya kasing tulin sa arangkada compared sa ibang 400cc pero malakas ang pulling power kahit magbigat ang sakay nito. There are times na hanapin mo ang tulin kapag nasa highway speeds ka pero pagdating naman sa mga lubak at sirasirang daan at sa mga bahagyang off-road scenarios ay doon ka mag enjoy dito. Hindi rin ako nagka-problema sa comfort dito. Kahit traffic at mainit ang klima ay good pa rin sa buong katawan. Relax kasi ang ride stance dito and tall and wide ang handlebars at malambot din ang upuan. At hindi ganun kainit ang makina sa traffic. Ergonomics wise, panalo ito. You'll surely love this sa mga long rides. Your hands got good angles sa handlebars and yung mga legs mo, it grips the tank comfortably. Riding visibility is nice and safe at maganda ang placement ng side mirrors. Foot pegs and brake pedal are jugged to grip your shoes sa mga off-road riding scenarios. Matibay ang quality ng materials na ginamit dito. Both clutch and brake levers are smooth to operate, yun lang hindi adjustable for your grip size. Nevertheless, very good naman ang operation ng clutch when you change gears. Hindi mananakit ang mga kamay mo sa long hours of riding kahit sa stop and go traffic. Sa instrument cluster switches and controls naman are all at the basic side pero is functional and easy to operate. I really love the instrument cluster and speedometer console layout. Pang adventure talaga ang mga system nito. You'd find all the info you need sa ride mo, lalo na may additional circular LCD that displays the turn-by-turn -turn navigation which is connected to your smartphone via Royal Enfield Tripper app. Ang galeng, di ba? Panalo talaga sa touring adventures. Speaking of adventure touring naman, syempre kailangan malambot ang upuan nito for both rider and passenger. At opo, malambot nga po at very comfortable ang upuan nito guys. 
Ginamit namin ito for about 300 kilometers with just a few stopovers. And we didn't feel tired kasi napakaganda ng bounce sa katawan nyo sa soft seats. Lalo na at maganda rin ang suspension system nito mga tol. Well planted ito sa kalye kahit sa fast speeds kahit pa mataas ito. You're very much in control of the bike. Kung thanks na rin no, sa very balanced engine power niya that gives you confidence in any road conditions at madali rin isingit sa bumper to bumper traffic. Not the fastest in terms of speed pero power is just right for city and highway riding. At oo nga pala, Euro 5 compliant standards na po ito. Ang suspension nito sa harap is telescopic 41mm forks na may 200mm travel. Sa likod naman ay monoshock with linkage na 180mm wheel travel naman. This is perhaps the best suspension system in a motorcycle na nasubukan ko. Naalala ko pa nung nabulaga kami ng malaking buta sa daan pero wala lang ang datingan, ang lupit. Pagdating naman sa braking system, ang front nito is 300mm disc at 2 piston floating caliper. Sa likuran naman is 240mm disc na may single piston floating caliper. Naka ABS na po ito guys and you can turn off the system if you need to lock your wheels when going off-road. Ang tire sa harap is 90 by 90 by 21 inches. It's semi-nubby and designed for on-roads and off-roads. Yung tires naman sa likod is 120 by 90 by 7 inches. Naka semi-nubby na rin and very capable with rolling both on and off-roads. These tires really are good in terms of riding performance. Meron din po itong windscreen to shield you from strong winds pag tumatakbo ka na ng mabilis sa highways and it really do get the job done. There's also a protective chain guard. May abang na rin po itong bracket for your top box for additional space for your things every time you go on long adventure trips. And just by the fuel tank ay merong bracket where you can place hard case side panniers o makapagsabit ng bags. This proved... Useful talaga nung nag-travel kami ng motorcycle tourism event kick-off. Madami rin kaming nadalang gamit for the two days ng mga around 300 kilometers. Very useful and functional din ang front and rear mud guards nito to shield you from water and dirt sa mga kalyang dadaanan nyo, especially on the rainy days. Ang headlight ay circular in design, showing its classic character. Yun lang, hindi siya ganun kaliwanag sa night ride. So better add LED lights to help keep you safer on your adventures. The tail lights and signal lights, however, are visible both night and day. And I really like the boxy design for it gives that modern touch sa overall looks niya. In terms naman of its overall design, it's very good looking and hindi maluluma ang itsura nito. At saka premium ang datingan, lalo na at kalidad ng materyales na ginamit dito. Power may not be the selling point here kung nagahanap ka ng speed, pero very good and dependable naman ang performance nito in any road conditions. This adventure touring bike is made available in two variants, namely the ABS and the Sleet ABS variant. Pricing starts at 299,000 peso, topping at 326,000 pesos. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Royal Enfield Himalayan. O oh, yun guys, ang Royal Enfield Himalayan, panalong panalo all around motorcycle na talaga maaasahan nyo. Malayo, malapit, makakapag expressway ka pa. At napakatipid po sa gasolina ha. Nag-enjoy po kami sa aming pong biyahe sa first kick-off. Siyempre sa kick-off ng uh, Philippine Motorcycle Tourism. Okay? Napakaganda po talaga. And again, uh, before we end the show, please click that subscribe button and that bell icon. And of course, uh, that like button. And, and we would like to say our big thanks to Butcher's Joint, our sponsor for this ride review. Okay? Bisitahin nyo na po sila sa Quezon City sa Malakas Street. Bye okay, guys! Again, I'm Kajo. Thanks for watching Motors Signal News Ride with you. Till next time, guys.